back at it with another video man today is sunday we got no work today we literally tried to sell out this weekend and go live to pick the winner for the rogue live but we still got a chance at it for this weekend coming up man so enter the win that joint man it can be yours we are literally going through hell right now with this truck situation i'm gonna break it down to y'all right now but i thank god i picked up the copar silverado because i thought i was good with this joint but things be happening man it's some things you gotta just really sit back and wait and have patience for so we about to try to get some fun in today, but we got to park this joint, hop in the other work truck. Got my dog Ace with me, man. But yeah, we about to go ahead and transition for this, transition into this while we get everything going for this thing to this thing get back fixed. So stay tuned, man. We about to get in today. Man, our tent came out perfect on this joint. Baby looking bad right now. We got this flat tire. Man, I don't know what happened. Yesterday we were sagging, tire went flat. Threads whooped inside, so I ordered a whole new one. I went to a few tire shops, nobody had it in stock, so I literally had to wait, man. But stay tuned, man. We got that new tire on the way, and we ordered some goodies for this thing. See the difference? This thing about to be lifted up just like that joint, but y'all gotta stay tuned for that. Yeah, sorry, man. So literally, we going through hell with the truck, man. I tried to literally get everything going, but I promise y'all, some of this stuff, I'm not in no control. We tried to get everything going for the truck, man, but I'm telling y'all, yesterday was crazy. I literally got the truck cleaned up, about to go out, went and put up to the car wash, getting the truck washed, cleaned up, and I noticed the tire was on flat. I'm like, damn, what I'm gonna do? I'm literally sagging on the flat tire, trying to find a tire shop. I called over 10 tire shops. I drove to about like four or five. Literally had no luck whatsoever trying to get a tire for that truck. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go online and go ahead and just order me a brand new one and wait for it to come in the mail. So only thing about that is now I got to keep the truck parked until we wait for that. But now that I'm actually in this truck, turn it out. But now that I'm actually back in this blue truck, I'm about to go ahead and just finish the paperwork. I already paid for the registration, spent like 700. Literally just got to get the smog done and it's breaking light inspection. So Monday morning, we go and taking care of that, getting a place so we'll be good. I got the windows tinted just so I don't got to have a uh, worry about people looking all through the clear windows. I don't mind it, but this is, a, this is a famous truck that always gets stolen and broken into. So it's like, you gotta be a step ahead of that and have it at least tinted out so people don't be all up in your windows and whatnot trying to break in, see if you got some music or whatnot. So we have to do that. We're gonna take care of the paperwork so we can get everything on the road, have this thing on the way and be sliding this joint, getting the work in back how we was before. And that way we won't have to worry about no police or nobody messing with us or anything. So we'll be on our P's and Q's, but Enter the win at Rogue Glide, man. I think it's about to be coming. We're going to go ahead and have some fun this joint today. And then we're going to get some more work in. So stay tuned. You too, man. We back at it sliding. I got me and my dog about to get some work in today. So today, objective is real fast. We got to literally go ahead and get this uh, truck fully registered with everything. I already paid for the registration, but I got to get the smog done. And I think a uh, braking light check. So we're going to handle that. Uh, go to the shop, go pull up at Antonio shop, get some parts, drop some more stuff onto the powder coat. My other main objective is today to get that other frame on the way. I'm gonna take that frame to the powder coat. I'm gonna pull all the paint out of storage so we can get that second paint to Antonio and get everything on the way. I got a couple of motors I'm gonna go ahead and look at for that bike. So I should be grabbing that this week also, so stay tuned for that. I'm trying to have that bike come together fast. I got almost everything, just a few little pieces that I'm missing that was damaged, but we gonna get it all handled and situated, man. We about to get everything done today so we can get everything on the road and have this be a very productive week. That's the main goal, but make sure y'all enter the win for that 2019 Road Glide. Like I said before, we got about 17 spots or less, man. Enter the win, I think, so we can fully sell out and find this new home in the winter. And also, we will be heading to Texas in Dover, Ohio, ASAP. As soon as we get all the stuff knocked out real fast this week so we can have everything cleared and handle that long drive ahead of us, man. So stay tuned, we about to get it in and make it happen, y'all. We slide it. Made it out the Uber safe and alive. 
Thank God I brought this joint over here. So now we still got some wheels until that small get done for that truck. This thing hella dirty. Gonna clean it up though. Get it right. About to clean it up, man. Stay tuned, about to get this work in. So we finally got it going. Gotta get some gas. But we just washed it up. Put the top down, got the armor on that joint. Definitely looking so much better cleaned up, man. I love this WS6 Ram hood. I think it's beefy. Yes, sir. Got this thing going. I can't wait to have my Camaro done with both of these side by side. Yes, sir. About to slide. Get this thing going so we can hit Antonio's. Right now, basically, we was going through some troubles with the truck. From me basically having a flat tire on my uh, on my newer truck, that flat tire basically slowed everything down. But thank God, I already have purchased the Silverado truck from uh, Copart. So I did all the paperwork for that. Today we basically finished up the smog. We dropped the truck off. We hopped in the Uber. Hopped in the Uber. We came and hopped in the drop top. I had to just wash it and clean it. So now we about to literally go ahead and head to this other guy who sell the lights. I couldn't get a braking light inspection on the Silverado because my lights were broken. So now we basically about to pick up some brand new lights. So basically that way, once we pick up our truck from the small place, we can go and get the braking light inspection done. And then we shall be picking up our license plate. So that'll be a successful day for me right there. That's the game plan. That's what we're working towards. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and head to Antonio get that paint set head to the shop and get everything going in on the road man but we're a little bit all over the place but i'm determined to get everything done this week so we could be on the road and be on our way out there to drop off and deliver these bikes so stay tuned we're about to finish getting this work in and coming to you man so stay tuned we working y'all we sliding the new joint Lights look so A1, I swear. Can't wait. back today literally running around and still ain't even made it to the shop antonio shop nothing but we're gonna get it done today for show we got our smog done and most importantly we got our braking light inspection done now we got everything we need literally go pick up our license plates and tags and call it a day we got everything good to go all the inspections and verifications and everything is finally done so I'm gonna hold on to the truck. Like I said, I have bought some parts for it. I really ordered a lift kit for this thing. So the lift kit should come this week along with my tires for the uh, my other Silverado that got the flat. So that's that. I'm not really tripping if it's sale. I'm gonna just want more money because I'm literally putting in more money into this truck. If not, I don't mind keeping it having another work truck. So whatever works out, but I know for a fact this truck will definitely sell now that I'm about to have the license plates for it. But like I said, if I don't get what I want, it's not going nowhere. It'll sit right where it's at and I'll keep putting this thing to use because who can ever, who can't go wrong with the truck? Man, we can all use a truck to make money. I know the men could, even some women should. But that's that, man. We're about to go ahead and head straight to the registration spot so we can pick up these plates. So stay tuned, man. We got some LA traffic to go to today for show. I should go give y'all a glimpse of the, um, the 6th Street new bridge they just built down here while I'm over here. But we gonna see, man, because I know for sure it is midday, a lot of traffic. So we're gonna get to it so we can get back to the other side and get that work in, man. But stay tuned, we sliding, not hiding, man. We getting it in. Frustrated, y'all don't even know. After all this stuff I just did, I'm still not even fucking done. They talking about I need a bin check from the DMV. And this is why I swear to y'all, I hate buying cars from Copart. I will buy a bike all day and deal with it with a bike. But with these cars and trucks, it's so much different. Like, I can't tell y'all how many places I don't, don't want to got the smog registration weight check vin check braking light check like this stuff is ridiculous like this is way too much to keep doing like i promise y'all i'm not the person to be buying cars and trucks from copart at all but for somebody else i'll definitely do it but for me no sir i'm good this is way too much to deal with every single time dude the money not even the money it's really the time like these ubers going back and forth man hell no nah. But we gotta do what we gotta do, man. We gonna do it, who gonna do it for us? That's how I look at it. So gotta get it done either way. 
but we slide it, man. Hopefully we can get the, pay the plates today after doing this because I really don't feel like driving back out here tomorrow. So I'm about to hope for the best, man. Just pull it up to Montebello DMV, right here on the side, waiting to get the bin check. My boy got his bike. He going before us. We waiting. I just need everything to go as planned so I could be on to the next thing. I hate doing something for one day consistently and then bringing that on to the next day, like tomorrow, when I could be doing something totally different, getting something else done and knocking it out. So that's what we on. I'm hoping everything goes smooth. We can go right back at these plates, call it a day, and let it be that. But for anybody trying to get a car from Copart and all that, you see what I'm going through. It ain't going to be easy for you, man. It's going to be the same thing, if not worse, man. So brace yourself for this loop that I'm going through, man, because it just may be you, for real. But we sliding, about to get it done. Finally got it on the road. We got our bin checked, so we good to go. Now we heading back to the registration lady, man, so I can get it done. I don't deal with the DMV for a reason, because I can go to her and be in and out within seconds. So that's where we headed to right now, man, so we can get our plates and be on our way, man. But y'all see what's going on. We working, so stay tuned. We getting it in. Finally got our plates with our registration in the tags now. We good to go. Now, that's what I call a successful day, man. We did conquer it and accomplished. We went through some hella trials and tribulations like no cap, but we got it done, man. That's the main objective because ain't nothing more irritating in LA than riding with no place getting fucked with by the police every second, every minute. But we got it going, we in the game. I'm about to go to get some gas, throw these plates on there. I might swing by Antonio so I can grab this paint set. That way we can get that thing complete tomorrow and be on our way, man. So. Make sure y'all enter the win for that thing, man. It can be yours. We slide in. Y'all see we getting this work in. This is all part of the job, man, because we need the truck to get these parts to transport these bikes and every little bit. But y'all see what's going on, man. We on our way getting it done. So stay tuned. We working. Thank you. 